Generally, it is believed that winning a lottery is a chance to change one's life. The lucky people who win think it is an answer to their prayers and will be the solution to all of their problems. But even after being blessed enough to get their hands on such great fortunes, some lottery winners lose it all very quickly. There is even a particular term for this phenomenon, lottery curse. It may be hard to believe that even after winning such vast amounts of money, people end up losing it all. But it happens more often than you think. Enlisted here are 11 such cases of people who had to taste the lottery curse. Through their lavish spending, they turned their wins sour. Let's get right into it. Number 11. Gerald Muswagon Canadian Gerald Muswagon bought a $2 lotto ticket that made him an instant millionaire in 2011. He won a $10 million jackpot but blew it in just a few short years. He bought a house that doubled as a nightly party spot hosting his ever-growing legion of hangers-on. He also blew the cash on cars, partying, and gifts while racking up a string of legal entanglements. By the end, he was doing manual labor on a farm to support his girlfriend and six young children. Seven years after his big win, he hanged himself in his parents' garage. If you think this horror lottery curse is terrible, wait until you watch our top two stories. Number 10. Sharon Tirabassi Sharon Tirabassi won $10.5 million in a Lotto Super 7 jackpot in Canada during the year 2004. Excessive spending and giving her life an over-the-top makeover in the years after she won drained the money quickly. Assuming the money was bottomless, the vacations, cars, houses, and handouts piled up until there was nothing left. By 2013, she was riding the bus to the part-time job she worked to support her children, because all of her winnings were gone by then showing us that nothing lasts forever unless you take well care of it, especially money. Number 9. Kenneth Goff In 2010, a 58-year-old former banker named Kenneth Goff drank himself to death. He was alone and penniless just five years after winning the equivalent of nearly $11 million with a lucky British lottery ticket. Soon after winning, his once stable life devolved into a blur of exotic cars, racehorses, and luxuries like stadium box seats. After the dramatic transformation he went through after winning the lottery, his 25-year marriage came to an end, leading him into a path of devastating depression. Number 8. Alex Toth Alex Toth won $13 million in the Florida lottery in 1990. He lived well for a few years, then went broke by spending all of the money and not investing correctly. After he went broke, he split up with his wife. He got into trouble for filing false tax returns and spent some time in a mental institution. He died penniless at age 60 in 2008. Number 7. Michael Carroll Michael Carroll was a sanitation worker in England when, at age 19, he won £9.7 million in 2002. The money was equivalent to about $14.4 million at the time. A mansion, drugs, and gold jewelry ate up the money quickly. He found himself in prison a couple of times and the prize money was gone within 10 years. By 2012, Carol was broke and living off unemployment checks. After that, Carol took a job at a cookie factory in Scotland, making only $300 a week. More recently, he managed to get a job at a slaughterhouse, making £400, about $511 per week. Now he says he's grateful for his job and having a second chance at life. Carol says he's happy to be alive, sober, and out of jail so he can spend time with his young daughter. So far, we have looked at some shocking stories. But let me tell you that this video is about to get more intense, so make sure you sit down and watch until the very end. You will be shocked at how fast some people can burn through millions and millions of dollars. Number 6. William Post William Bud Post III won $16.2 million from the Pennsylvania Lottery in 1988. He thought his problems were solved, instead quickly found himself in debt. Even though Post didn't have a pilot's license, he decided to purchase a plane. He tried to help his siblings start a restaurant and a used car business. His former girlfriend, who was also his landlady, sued him for a third of his winnings. Post didn't pay her and, as a result, a judge froze his assets. The relationships with his family also went sideways. Word says one of his brothers tried to hire an assassin to kill him. Talk about family relationships gone wrong. One day, a repossessing man tried to take Post's car away. When he saw him, he opened fire. Later, he was put behind bars for this. In the end, he lived off social security disability payments until he died at age 66. Number 5. Janet Lee South Korean immigrant Janet Lee won $18 million in the Illinois lottery in 1993. Eight years later, when she filed for bankruptcy, she had less than $700 in the bank and was $2.5 million in debt. Her donations were well-intentioned, but she simply gave too much. 
she donated considerable sums to educational, political, and social causes. In exchange for a lump sum, she sold her rights to future annual payments. But even that wasn't enough to keep her out of bankruptcy court. Although her gambling habit reportedly cost her more than $300,000 per year, she may have spent on more charitable and political donations. Her generosity included $1 million for Washington University to build a new library. In 2001, all of her fortune went completely dry. Number 4. James Haynes James Haynes worked as an overnight security guard in 1998 when he won $19 million playing California's Super Lottery game. But he quickly went from winner to loser. His ex-wife reportedly took half the jackpot money and Haynes developed a heroin habit costing him $1,000 a week. He then resorted to robbing banks to keep up his lifestyle. The FBI nicknamed him the PT Cruiser Bandit and the Season Bandit because of his car and gray hair. In 2018, Haynes pleaded guilty to bank robbery and was sentenced to 33 months in prison. Of course, by that time, there was not one dollar left of his earnings. Number 3. David Lee Edwards Five years after David Lee Edwards, a resident of Kentucky, won a jackpot, he was penniless and had to live in a storage shed with his wife. He married a woman 19 years younger than he was. The couple squandered the fortune on material things that brought the demise of so many winners. They bought dozens of high-end cars, a big mansion, and a plane. In the first three months, they had blown through $3 million. By the end of the first year, they had burned more than $12 million. The couple later spiraled into drug addiction, and just 12 years after hitting the jackpot that changed their life, their house was lost to foreclosure. David died in 2013 completely broke at age 58 in a hospice care facility. A few years later, his wife was arrested for stabbing a boyfriend. Number 2. Billy Bob Harrell Jr. Billy Bob Harrell Jr. is a well-known name for the lottery curse and spending millions of dollars in no time. He hit the Texas Lotto jackpot in 1997, but burned through his $31 million in just two years after winning. The profoundly religious family donated heavily to the church and individual congregation members, but his expenses and spending were not all donations. He and his wife bought a couple of houses and expensive cars for themselves and their family members. They paid for costly trips to Hawaii and lived the most luxurious lifestyle possible. With his excessive spending, money quickly dried up. Soon after the money was gone, Billy's marriage fell apart and their marriage ended in divorce. This was too much for Billy to handle. And just two years after winning more than $31 million, his son found him dead. He had taken his own life. And finally, let's go to the soundest name on lottery millionaires that lost it all. Number 1. Jack Whitaker. Andrew Jack Whitaker, unlike most of the winners, was already wealthy. His company was making contracts worth about $15 million a year. On Christmas morning in 2002, he won the largest jackpot ever awarded to a single Powerball ticket. He won a whopping amount of $314.9 million from his lottery ticket. But instead of an annuity, he chose a lump sum payment and ended up taking home a little over $113 million from his actual amount. However, Jack Whitaker's lottery winnings changed him more than the money he had earned through hard work. Though he did much good with the money he won, spending around $15 million to build churches in West Virginia. Jack also set up a charitable foundation and even bought the woman who sold him the ticket a new house, a new car, and gave her some extra cash. Despite his good deeds, the lottery curse hit him. His company was hit with frivolous lawsuits from people who wanted to get their hands on some of that jackpot money, costing him millions in legal fees. Under strain, Whitaker started to go on a downward spiral. He started drinking hard and getting into fights. If this wasn't enough, his granddaughter, Brandy, got involved with the wrong people and died at a young age a year after her boyfriend died from an overdose. The death had devastating consequences for his family. Andrew's daughter, Brandy's mother, was found dead seven years after the jackpot was won. His wife filed for a divorce, and soon, Andrew had lost his family and all the money he had won. And that's the end of our list. What do you think about all these lottery winners who lost it all? What story do you think is the most shocking? Comment right below and let us know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get more amazing videos like this. See you in the following video. Who hasn't fantasized about hitting the lotto jackpot? Just imagine all those millions of dollars and what you can buy with them. 
houses, fine dining, and even cruising the Mediterranean with your own yacht. Everything sounds awesome, but winning the jackpot isn't everything it seems to be. Most people dream about hitting the jackpot, but they should be cautious with their wishes. It's not uncommon for lottery winners to end up with nothing but shattered friendships, ruined marriages, poverty, or even death. Winning the jackpot, you know, sounds like a dream come true, until the money draws out selfish and bitter relatives, scam artists, and charity cases from the shadows. Many lottery winners are left penniless after a series of bad decisions. This video will go over the second part of the dumbest lottery winners ever. If you haven't watched part one, you can do so by clicking on the top right corner now and then coming back to this video. Those stories are as mind-blowing as these. Now, let's get started with the dumbest lottery winner number. Number 10, Tonda Lynn Dickerson. Tonda Dickerson worked as a waitress at Waffle House when she received an odd tip. Because he didn't have any more money, her customer left a lottery ticket instead. He had no idea that he was about to change this woman's life forever, and not for the better. Later that week, she heard the news that she had won $10 million. The other waitresses were thrilled since they had agreed to split the wins before the lottery drawing. On the other hand, Tana did not know about such an agreement and planned to retain the money for herself. These actions resulted in a series of lawsuits against her, which she eventually won and taught her the importance of protecting her assets. Tonda and her family established a corporation for this specific purpose. However, the IRS pursued her for not paying taxes on a gift of shares she made to her family through the firm. She challenged them, but lost, and had to pay $1.1 million in taxes as a result. A few years later, after all the money was gone, Tonda ended up working as a poker dealer at the Golden Nugget Casino in Mississippi. Number 9. Laura and Roger Griffiths the marriage of Laura and Roger Griffiths ended in divorce less than a decade after the British couple won a $2.19 million jackpot. Roger pursued his rock star dreams by spending large sums of money to have his band release an album. Laura became familiar with the high life after the couple purchased exotic cars, a $1 million home, designer clothes, accessories, and a costly private school for their daughter. They invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in opening a salon, where Laura was later forced to work as an employee just to make ends meet. In the end, the couple had less than $10 and a shattered relationship. Number 8. Callie Rogers Callie Rogers was another lucky winner from England, who got rich at a very young age, but she was even more immature and less prepared to manage her new fortune than the previous couple. Roger was only 16 years old when she won the equivalent of $2.3 million in 2003. A decade later, in 2013, she only had about $2,500 in the bank. She burned through the money due to drugs. Rogers dropped about $300,000 on cocaine alone, as well as plastic surgery, high-end clothing, gifts, and partying. These decisions made Callie, who was 33 at the time of this video, live on benefits. However, since then, she has felt way stronger and completely different. Recently, she said in an interview, it was too much money for someone so young. Even if you say your life won't change, it does, and often not for the better. It nearly broke me, but thankfully, I'm now stronger than ever. Number 7. Curtis Sharp Curtis Sharp won $5 million in the New York Lottery in 1982. Unfortunately, his story was one of the racks to riches and back again. By 1987, all of his money was long gone, just five years after hitting the jackpot. Sharp's fortune would vanish far too quickly thanks to multiple failed marriages, trips to the casino, reckless spending on sports cars, and lavishing gifts on friends and relatives. Fast forward to today, Curtis is a minister in Tennessee. According to him, other winners should walk away to clear their heads before spending any of their winnings. Number 6. Evelyn Adams Evelyn Adams made lottery history in 1985 and 1986 when she won two multi-million dollar prizes in New Jersey back to back. Her total winnings were just over $5.4 million. However, like so many other lucky winners, Adams couldn't get out of her way. She compulsively gambled her money, eventually losing most of it to the Atlantic City Casino. But that was not the only deadly habit to her fortune, giving too many expensive gifts to family members, spending on expensive clothes, and making a series of bad investment ideas completely destroyed her wealth. According to Forbes, Adams blew it all and moved into a trailer. So far, we have seen some unbelievable stories of some of the dumbest lottery winners ever. But get ready, because it's about to be even crazier. 
Up next, number five, Lisa Arkand. Lisa was the winner of a $1 million lottery prize in Massachusetts in 2004. She, like previous winners, purchased a home and took multiple vacations. She threw an extravagant dinner for 20 of her friends and family, ordering multiple bottles of wine for 200 bucks each. She put her son in a fancy school and bought expensive furniture for her home. Lisa decided to open a restaurant as a source of income after realizing that one million didn't go very far after taxes. Lisa had no prior restaurant or financial management experience. Sadly, the restaurant didn't perform well and she was forced to close it. Lisa's money was gone by 2007, barely three years after she won the lotto. Number four, Marva Wilson. Marva Wilson won two million in the Missouri lottery in 2012. Freya Pearson, a good friend, agreed to help Wilson manage her money and do her taxes. Pearson, on the other hand, duped Wilson into signing over 400,000 of her winnings and depositing them in a bank account set up by Pearson, as well as giving her access to Wilson's other bank account. Pearson went on a spending binge, traveling, gambling, and purchasing cars and an apartment. Pearson was eventually convicted and was given a five-year sentence on account of fraud, tax evasion, and money. It was too late to recover the funds. Pearson had squandered all of Wilson's funds in less than two years. Number three, Joseph and E.B. Roncaioli. Canadian residents Joseph and E.B. Roncaioli were already pretty wealthy when E.B. won $5 million in a 1991 lottery. They were known as a happy elderly couple to their neighbors. However, their supposed comfortable lifestyle changed when Joseph discovered E.B. had spent all of their life savings due to her addictions to alcohol and gambling. If that wasn't enough, she gave away the five million to a secret son that she had with another man before marrying Joseph. A few short years later, E.B. was found unconscious in her home. An autopsy E had been poisoned. Joseph claimed he was checking her for blood due to her poor health, but prosecutors saw through his lies and sentenced him to seven years. A sad ending to a probably already broken marriage. Number two, Aruj Khan. E.B. Roncaioli is not the only winner who ended up murdered. Aruj Khan founded a dry cleaning business in Chicago after immigrating to the United States from India in 1989. Years later, he bought a $1 million winning lottery ticket, but chose the lump sum, which came to $424,000 after taxes. However, he never saw a dime. He died the day after the check was written, but he never got it. His assets became embroiled in a battle between his wife and stepdaughter. Authorities suspect he was poisoned with cyanide after an autopsy showed evidence of this deadly substance in his blood samples. Supposedly, to this day, police have done nothing about it, referring to the case as an active and open investigation. And finally, we have reached number one, Willie Hurt. Willie Hurt was a happily married family man who was well known in his neighborhood before 1989. Hurt won the $3.1 million Michigan Super Lotto jackpot. This was during the height of the crack epidemic, and Hurt was deeply tangled in the mayhem. His winnings were used to fund a raging crack drug addiction. Soon after, Hurt divorced his wife, lost custody of his children, lost his fortune, and was murdering a lady while on a multi-day drug and alcohol frenzy. Hurt's attorney claimed that the money was spent on his rocky divorce and crack addiction. By 1991, just two years after winning, the 3.1 million were nothing more than a blurred memory. There you have it, 10 of the dumbest lottery winners in history. Which story was the craziest to you? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't watched part one, you can check that out right here. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really goes a long way. Until next time, stay wealthy and smart, and I'll see you on the next one. Think all lottery winners just splurge on a yacht and end up bankrupt? Well, think again, millionaire, because believe it or not, there are quite a few people who've won the jackpot and gone on to make those millions work for them. They've gone on to invest in stocks, start up their own companies, and more. Here are 10 lottery winners who did things right and are still rich. Smart lottery winner number 10. Brad Duke and the Idaho State Jackpot. In 2005, Idaho native Brad Duke grabbed the $220 million Idaho State jackpot. Before winning his $220 million in the Idaho State Lottery, Brad worked as a manager for Gold's Gym in Treasure Valley. 
more interested in lasting wealth than he was in buying some fancy supercar. Brad used the jackpot money to make lucrative investments in gas, oil, real estate, and low-risk bonds. Additionally, Brad started a $1.3 million family foundation. In total, Brad's efforts have led to him more than doubling the cash jackpot that he won years ago. Smart Lottery Winner Number 9 Peter Lavery and the UK National Jackpot In 1996, Peter Lavery reinvested his £10.2 million winnings in a whiskey distillery and other properties. Not your typical USA resident jackpot winner, Lavery lives in Belfast, Northern Ireland, United Kingdom. Coming from humble beginnings, prior to his £10.2 million national lottery win in 1996, his old job as a bus driver used to earn him less than $250 a week. But it wasn't enough for Peter to simply make a wise financial investment. He decided to expand his whiskey investment into a partnership with Cooley Whiskey Distillery and make the Danny Boy brand. Since then, Peter has gone on to more than triple his winnings worth and now has more than 30 properties spread across Northern Ireland. Smart Lottery Winner Number 8 Couple, John and Lisa Robinson and their Powerball Jackpot In 2016, Munford, Tennessee natives John Robinson and his wife Lisa hit the Powerball Jackpot and took home $327.8 million. Just as interesting as their own win is that they were actually one of three for the $1.58 billion payouts that came with that year's Powerball jackpot, which is still the highest amount on record. Like every other lottery winner, they didn't actually get to keep all $327.8 million. But even after taxes, the couple still came away with a hefty amount. John and Lisa decided to invest in real estate and now live in a $6.2 million 10-bedroom mansion and a property that also includes a private lake and a home theater. In contrast to many millionaires, particularly lottery winners, the Robinsons prefer to keep a low profile and are still super rich. Smart Lottery Winner Number 7 Lorraine West and her Powerball Jackpot Lorraine West hit the Powerball Jackpot in 2018 and walked home with $343.9 million. A single mom of three from the United States, West used to work with an insurance company before her big lottery win. Similar to the Robinsons, West was not the sole winner of the $687.8 million Powerball jackpot. She was one of two winners who took home $343.9 million before taxes. Unlike most lottery winners, West decided to direct a good portion of her earnings towards charity. She donated $500,000 to the Travis Mills Foundation and established a charitable organization called Callum Foundation. Her charity continues to offer financial support to animal welfare, veteran affairs, health and education. Quite a far cry from blowing it in Vegas, wouldn't you say? So far, we have seen some pretty smart winners. But can it get smarter than this? Maybe. So keep watching. Smart Lottery Winner Number 6 Jason Fry and his Florida Jackpot In 2007, Jason Fry scooped up $14 million up from the Florida State Jackpot. He chose to invest in and became the owner of a successful battery business. Like others on the list, Fry was not the sole winner of his jackpot. While he took home $14 million, the total 2007 Florida jackpot was actually $47 million. A bit more on the fun-loving side of winners, he bought his favorite car, had fun with his friends, and then invested the rest. Jason also went in on acquiring a Gulf World II driving range with a partner. On average, it annually generates about $300,000 in revenue. But Fry wasn't done yet. He also acquired a Fort Myers-based Batteries Plus store and three others. His batteries business alone has made him a household name in Florida. And Fry has even more ambitious plans to expand and bring in more revenue. 
Needless to say, Fry made his $14 million work far more for him than he did for it. Smart Lottery Winner Number 5 Yancey Hicks and his 2008 lottery win Interestingly, while Yancey has one of the lowest actual winning lottery amounts on this list, he still made the most he could get out of his comparably modest $1 million lottery win. He purchased and is now the proud owner of a Subway restaurant that earns him a stable income. It's not the state-spanning business empire that Jason Fry is building, but Yancey's investment has still set him to continue earning passive income into the future. Smart Lottery Winner Number 4 Cynthia Stafford and her California Lottery Win After her $112 million California Lottery win in 2007, Cynthia Stafford became a successful businesswoman and philanthropist. But it's crazy to think how it all came about. On Mother's Day of 2007, a day she probably thought would be like any other, Cynthia woke up the lucky winner of the California Lottery. She immediately shared some of it with her brother and father. She invested the rest in real estate properties and her new business, Queen Nefertari Productions LLC. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Cynthia Stafford currently has an estimated net worth of $10 million. This past winner was definitely smart, but don't think you have seen it all. If you want to get the best ideas for when you win the lottery, make sure to pay close attention to these last three winners. Take notes and keep watching. Smart Lottery Winner Number 3 Mark Brundanell and his 1997 Lotto Jackpot while less information is available for Mark and his wife Cheryl, this Sunderland couple is perhaps the smartest of them all, given what they won. Before winning £900,000 in February 1997, Mark was making ends meet as a chemical tanker driver and a bakery manager. After the money came through, he decided to invest it into setting up a double glazing business that continues to bring in consistent profit well over 20 years later. Smart Lottery Winner Number 2 Sue Herdman and her 2010 Lottery Win Working as a hairdresser when she won her £1.2 million lottery prize, Herdman proved to be quite the intelligent, if unconventional, investor. Herdman didn't indulge of any of the typical luxurious lifestyle choices of most jackpot winners and instead decided to invest in pig farming. Today, she owns a pig farm in Northeast England and has over 7,000 pigs. On average, about 1,000 piglets are born weekly. A massive, far more reliable and consistent jackpot for her. Smart Lottery Winner Number 1 Richard Lustig and his multiple lottery wins. Certainly the most unique of all the smart lottery winners, Richard Lustig has scooped up lottery cash prizes seven separate times. And while it might seem like one of the strangest things to grow accustomed to, Lustig is rather used to winning the lottery by this point. Understandably, Lustig rose to fame during his seven lottery winning stints that continued from 1993 to 2010. Somewhat curiously, his winnings alone are, in total, just $1 million. But what made Lustig smart was how he utilized all the media exposure that came with his fame in spreading the word once he wrote a book called Learn How to Increase Your Chances of Winning the Lottery. The number of copies he sold ended up actually earning him a net worth more than double his total winnings. So while he may not have won the most or ended up with the most money, it's hard to deny Lustig's pure luck and resourcefulness. All these winners are definitely smarter than the winners on our video of the dumbest lottery winners in US history. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click the video on the screen now to see these dumb winners. Until next time, stay wealthy, and I'll see you in the next video, millionaire. Hello, millionaire. Have you ever watched the lottery drawings and wonder what your life would be like if you suddenly earn millions of dollars overnight? For some, this is their reality, but what have those winners done with their massive earnings? Have they upgraded themselves to mansions or bought new shiny cars? Or have they invested it wisely? 
you will be amazed to learn that some of the winners in this video made terrible decisions and lost their entire fortunes in the process. So you'll want to stick around until the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to your favorite channel, The Millionaire Post, so you don't miss any of our incredible videos. Also, make sure to watch the entire video because you have the chance to win an Amazon gift card and somewhere in this video are the instructions. Now, let's start with the biggest Powerball winners and where they are now. Number 10, Marie Holmes, $188 million. Marie Holmes is first on our list, a then 26-year-old working mother who won the $188 million jackpot. Before winning, Marie worked five jobs to support her children until 2015. Holmes wanted to push her money to immediate good use, finish up her degree, and donate to some charities. Still, her ex-fiance, Lamar Andre, said otherwise. Suing Marie, Lamar said that Marie had given away his dirt bike, repair shop, and thousands of dollars of clothing and jewelry while he was in prison. But if you think that is crazy, just wait for number one. Number nine, Jack Whitaker, 314 million. Before winning, Whitaker was the president of Diversified Enterprise Construction in West Virginia for 12 years. His net worth was already over $17 million before winning. Whitaker was out for breakfast when he bought $100 worth of tickets on a whim because the Powerball was so high, 314 million high. After winning, Jack took home the lump sum of 113 million after taxes. This overwhelming amount of money for an already wealthy man came with a landslide of troubles from having his car broken into and thieves making off with hundreds of thousands of dollars to the unfortunate death of his granddaughter, Brandy. The problems didn't stop there. Being arrested for a DUI, being sued by Caesars Atlantic Casino, and the loss of his daughter and home, the life of Jack ended with a low note. Whitaker died on June 27, 2020, following a long illness, but no details were given. Number eight, Manuel Franco, 326 million. Manuel took home $326 million after a $10 ticket purchase. Before winning, Manuel had trouble with money and was desperate for a big break. And when that break came, it came in the millions on April 23, 2019. Like all other lottery winners, Manuel had imposters on the internet claiming his identity to try and scam people for personal data. So where is Manuel now? According to his journey, Manuel dropped off the internet for privacy reasons. Manuel last said that he wanted to use the money to travel and help out his parents. What he is doing now remains a mystery, but we can confidently say his financial burdens were lifted. Number seven, Robert Bailey, 344 million. Robert split the winnings with Lorraine West, taking home half of the $687.8 million Powerball jackpot on October 27, 2018. Bailey immediately hired a lawyer and financial advisor to help in keeping his newfound wealth. Smart move, since 70% of jackpot winners go broke in seven years, according to the New York Daily. Bailey said he wants to do the right thing by his family and the next generation and invest his money wisely. Other than that, Bailey has been pretty tight-lipped about how he's spending his time and his money. Number six, Maureen Smith and David Kaltzmidt, 528.8 million. Counting down with number six comes with a rare and rather odd case in the form of a Florida couple, Maureen Smith and David Couchsmith. Both won $528.8 million in January 2016, but their lives had virtually no change, unlike others on this list. The couple tried to keep their life private and tried not to tell many that they had won the lottery. They still live in the same house they did before winning the lottery, own the same boat, but only upgraded their cars. Maureen and David said they hired financial advisors, but besides that, the modest life seems to suit them best. So far, we have seen some crazy stories. Have you seen any that caught your attention? If not, hang on, because it is about to get even crazier. Remember that giveaway we talked about? Well, you have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card in our weekly giveaway. These are the easy steps you have to follow to better your chance to win. You have to watch this video until the end, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave your comment below answering the following question. If you won $100 million, what would you do? The winner will be selected among the subscribers who follow the instructions and announced on our Instagram page at The Millionaire Post on Sunday. So make sure you participate because today might be your lucky day. Now, let's continue. Number five, Cindy and Mark Hill, 587 million. Coming in at number five is a small town Missouri family, the Hills. In their early 50s, with three of their own adult children, 
the couple raised a then six-year-old adopted daughter from China. The time before winning was rocky for the Hills. Mark Hill was working in a meat processing factory, and Cindy Hill had been laid off from her job as an office manager. In November 2012, the Powerball was at the highest it had ever been at the time, $587 million. The Hill family weren't counting on anything significant and bought a ticket on a whim, not expecting anything to come of it. Suddenly and overnight, a struggling family found themselves with $587 million. Taking the lump sum option, they walked away with $300 million after taxes. After earning their money, the Hills took a trip to Ireland with their family and invested in the local community sewage plant. In 2014, the Hills announced they would fund the construction of a new ambulance station. Unfortunately, Mark Hill passed away on March 20th, 2019, and the funeral was closed to the public. Number four, Gloria McKenzie, 590 million. And number four is Gloria McKenzie, who won the Powerball at the age of 84. McKenzie claimed a single lump sum payment of $370 million before taxes on June 5, 2013 in Tallahassee, Florida. However, McKenzie had fallen into a trap set by her son and financial advisor. Even though McKenzie took home $278 million, a substantial amount after taxes, and gave control of money to her son, Scott. Scott then shared the management of McKenzie's winnings to a financial advisor, Harry Hank Madden. According to a lawsuit filed by Gloria McKenzie and her attorney, Madden had no experience managing millions of dollars worth of money and invested it too conservatively, resulting in low returns. On top of low investment returns, McKenzie ended up totaling $2 million in fees. When asked about the conservative investments, Scott McKenzie claims that his mother agreed to low-risk investments, knowing the returns would be minimal. Greg Anderson, McKenzie's attorney, said that the moral of the story is, vet your financial advisors carefully. What we say is don't trust anyone with your money but yourself. Research and plan carefully. Number three, Lorin West, 688 million. On October 27, 2018, Two tickets from Iowa and New York split the $687.8 million jackpot. The winner, Lorraine West, almost lost her Powerball ticket while she was moving out of her house. West worked at a local health insurance company for years until she learned about her winning ticket and soon retired. West has vowed to use her money for good, establishing the Column Foundation, named after her late son, who was born prematurely, setting money aside for her grandchildren's college education, and even giving some money to friends and family. See, not everyone who wins the lottery is keeping it all to themselves. Much like others on this list, Loren faced a wave of online impersonators promising money for personal information. It's hard to tell who fell into these traps, but Loren and her family have pleaded for people not to fall victim to lies and fake online accounts. Number 2. Mavis Wanchik, $758.7 million the winner of the $758.7 million Powerball is Mavis Wanchik from Massachusetts on October 23, 2017. This smashed the previous record for the biggest win on a single ticket. Mavis was 53 years old, mother of two at the time of her winning, and took home $336 million after taxes. Before winning the Powerball, Mavis worked at Mercy Medical Center in Springfield, Massachusetts, in patient care for 32 years. Immediately after her win, Mavis cut her job loose and never returned. The dream of anyone who finds himself with a sudden and substantial amount of money. Bad luck followed Mavis following her win. After her identity was made public, people from all over were trying to find out where Mavis lived, then went as far as knocking on doors around her town to try and find her address. The problem became so rampant that police had to keep watch and make sure Mavis and her family were safe. That isn't the end of the woes that followed Mavis's winning of the Powerball. People were receiving messages from a fake Mavis Wanchik, promising to give away her winnings for personal information on social media and through text messages. So what is Mavis Wanchik doing now with all her earnings? LotteryCritic.com asked her the very same question, and Mavis's response was, I just want to sit back and relax, and I had a pipe dream and my pipe dream has finally come true. I wanted to retire in 12 years, and it came early. Mavis hasn't been active on social media, nor is there any public information of where she is and what she's doing now. Winning the lottery and having your name released to the public isn't as glamorous as one probably wishes. And number one, John and Lisa Robinson, $1.6 billion. In January 2016, the Powerball hit the height of $1.6 billion. 
Everyone started buying tickets knowing that someone, somewhere, had to win. In fact, three people won. John and Lisa Robinson were one-third of the winners, choosing to take home the lump sum of $327.8 million before taxes. The couple appeared on the Today Show before collecting their lottery money and hired an attorney. Lisa wanted to live a simple and ordinary life and keep going to work, but the public announcement drew unwanted attention and odd looks, so she quit. Modest life out the window. The Robinsons bought a mansion estimated at $6.2 million spread across 320 acres with its private lake where they reside to this day. These stories show us that money doesn't immediately make your life better, millionaire. You have to make your life better with or without millions of dollars that suddenly fall onto your lap. Quick question, if you won the Powerball, what would you do with all that money? Let us know down in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay wealthy, and I'll see you on the next In this video, we will look at the 10 biggest Mega Millions winners and where they are today. Make sure to watch till the end because you'll have the chance to win an Amazon gift card. And somewhere in this video are the instructions. Now, let's start with the biggest Mega Millions winners and where they are now. Number 10, 451 million, Shane Missler. Coming in from Tallahassee, Florida is Shane Missler. At 20 years old at the time of the winning, Missler took home around $282 million after opting to take a lump sum out of the 451 Mega Millions jackpot. Shane purchased five quick pick tickets at a 7-Eleven and made lottery history. Like any lottery winner, Shane's success brought in loads of scam accounts and even a whole fake charity called the Shane Missler Charity Foundation. Upon winning, Shane enrolled in personal finance courses so he wouldn't have to hire someone else to manage his funds. Shane and his lawyer started the secret 007 trust fund to give back to his community and leave a legacy. Since his win, there hasn't been much news about Mr. Shane Missler, but he seems to be thriving and doing well in life, according to his active social media. Congratulations to Shane. Number 9. 516 million. Peace of mind. Coming in at number 9 is more than just one winner, but five. Specifically, a five-person trust named Peace of Mind claimed a half billion dollar jackpot on May 21st, 2021. The five-person group lived in eastern Pennsylvania and wished to keep their identities anonymous after taking the lump sum of $348 million out of the $516 million jackpot. Number 8. 522 million. A woman in California. On June 7, 2019, a San Diego woman claimed a $522 million jackpot. The winning ticket resulted from a quick pick and took the cash option that totaled $340 million before taxes. The winner said she planned to pay off debt and buy a home with her newfound fortune. We congratulate her and wish we could wipe away our debts with sudden winnings. Number 7. 533 million. Richard Wall. Just moving to New Jersey from Michigan, Richard Wall decided to play the Mega Millions at a Luke Oil station in Riverdale, New Jersey. Little did Richard know, he got the winning ticket. The 47-year-old production manager at a New Jersey food services facility won the $533 million jackpot and chose to take the lump sum, totaling $175 million after taxes. Richard rebuilt his 1964 Corvette, donated to charity, and now recently purchased the La Playa Resort and Suites in Daytona Beach for $13.7 million. According to Tim Davis, a commercial realtor who represented Richard at a resort auction, Richard now lives in the Sarasota area. Good job to Richard. As we all know, having a lot of money is excellent, but it's better to put it to work and grow your money beyond what you earned, especially if you won your money on a lucky draw. Number 6. 536 million. A couple from Indiana. We have an Indiana couple winning the $536 million jackpot at number 6 on July 8, 2016. The couple chose to remain anonymous to keep their family safe and keep the normality of their lives intact. For a while, it was a mystery who had won since no one immediately came forward. All anyone knew was that the ticket was sold at a gas station in Indiana. Number 5. 543 million. 11 Wells Fargo Employees, California. A group of 11 co-workers split a $543 million jackpot in California on July 24, 2018. All 11 members worked for Wells Fargo in San Jose and decided to pool their resources together to buy lottery tickets. And, sure enough, they won. Even though they won, the workers admitted that they wouldn't quit their jobs and keep working at Wells Fargo. The co-owner of the liquor store the winning ticket was purchased from also won big, earning a retailer bonus of $1 million. 
Before we continue our countdown, here are the instructions to win an Amazon gift card. Make sure to like this video and leave your comment below. We will randomly choose one of the best comments, and the winner will be announced on Sunday. You can read the instructions in the description below. Let's continue. Number 4. 636 million. Ira Curry. On December 17th, 2013, luck struck with two winners, one from California and the other in Georgia. Ira Curry, who was 56 at the time of winning in Atlanta, Georgia, chose to take her winnings in a lump sum cash payment of $173.8 million after taxes. The winner in California decided to keep their identity private for personal and security reasons. Ira Curry's family packed up and moved to Stone Mountain, where they seemed to have gone into hiding from the press. Packages and new cars were brought to their house, and anytime press got close, the family hid. Good reason to. Unknown to anyone, the future is not known for Ira Curry and what she plans to do with her money, but all we know is they're living their financial free life. Number 3. 656 million. Three anonymous winners in Kansas, Illinois, and Maryland. According to CNBC, the odds of winning the Mega Millions is 1 in 302.5 million. That seems nearly impossible to some, except for a unique three-way split on March 30th, 2012. Coming in at 656 million, three winners in Illinois, Kansas, and Maryland woke up to find out they were winners. Two of the winning tickets came from Quick Pick tickets. Each winner chose to get their winnings in the lump sum, earning $105.1 million after taxes. Interesting that opposed to most of the Powerball winners, who by law in their locations had to come forward and reveal their identities, most of these Mega Million winners who weren't obligated to disclose themselves chose to stay anonymous. Definitely a big difference from the biggest Powerball winners, who were plagued with scams and constant media stalking. However, this is more a matter of state than it is of the game. Some states allow winners to remain anonymous, while others require you to go public. If you want to see where the biggest Powerball winners are today, make sure to watch that video by clicking on the top right corner or waiting at the end of this video. Number 2. 1 Billion Wolverine Club A lottery club with four members in Detroit shared a billion dollar jackpot from the Mega Millions drawing on January 22, 2021. The club named itself the Wolverine FLL Club and held the only winning ticket. The group decided together to take a one-time lump sum payment that came out to $557 million, which is still about $139 million split four ways. Imagine getting that with a night out with your friends. According to the group's attorney, the group wants to spend the money for generations to come through education, scholarships, and a little spending money. And finally, number one, 1 $1.5 billion, someone in South Carolina. The largest jackpot in Mega Millions history won a $1,537,000,000 jackpot on October 23, 2018. It was won by an anonymous player in Simpsonville, South Carolina, and they're right to be anonymous. Not only did the South Carolina resident win so big, but so did the state itself, receiving $61 million in income tax from the winning ticket. With no idea who this massive winner is, it's not hard to guess that they're living their life large and relaxing with financial freedom for the rest of their life. Luck plays into many things, and suddenly, having millions of dollars with minimal effort is the dream for everyone. A lot of these winners didn't expect the win and only purchased their tickets on a whim. So our lesson to you, millionaires, don't stop hustling, but always leave a little room for luck and faith. How would you manage your mega millions of winnings if you were one of these winners? If you've got a plan, let us know down in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Make sure you check out our Powerball winners video here. Their stories are truly mind-blowing. Until then, stay wealthy, and I'll see you on with more numbers added to lottery games in the past few years, that big jackpot has gotten harder and harder to win. As a result, money prizes grow larger and larger every month, until one lucky winner takes it all and completely changes their life forever. So, let's start the list with Number 15. Lani Bibal A sole winner from San Diego, California, who won the $522 million prize back in June 2019. My heart was beating fast, said Bibal, after finding out she had just won the jackpot. She even told lottery officials she felt luck coming her way and decided to hide the ticket inside a secret place which obviously no one knew about. After winning the $522 million, Bibal chose to take the cash option of $340 million. 
first thing she did was pay off debt and buy a new home. Number 14. Richard Wall Another soul winner. This New Jersey native won a $533 million jackpot prize on March 30, 2019. He bought his ticket in a local gas station after coming off from work at Ack Food Service from Vernon. He said, While I was looking at my numbers, I knew that I had won. I actually felt like it was God's plan for me to win that day. The $533 million is the biggest lottery win claimed in the state of New Jersey. Eventually, he had to take the cash option and walked away with $324 million. That's still pretty big if you ask me. First things he did was go on a vacation, give some to his relatives who were living paycheck to paycheck, and give some to his mother. He then hired a financial advisor to help him manage the money. Number 13. Warren D. LLC Not the real family name because they wanted to protect their identity. This family from Cambridge, Indiana were just cruising along the state back on July 8, 2016 to go to the kids' sports activities. They made a quick stop in a gas station and the family decided to try their luck. Good call! Shortly after, they won the jackpot prize of $536 million, but they chose the cash option of $378 million instead. I'd still take that over nothing. At that time, it was considered to be the largest amount won by a single ticket holder. Number 12. 11 Co-Workers These co-workers, ranging from 21 to 61 years old, worked at a finance company in Santa Clara, California. The group confessed they normally wouldn't play these kinds of lottery games, but they decided to give it a try since they paid only $2 for the tickets. Roland Reyes, one of the 11, said that they decided to try it out because the prize money was big. $543 million big. If we can win, anyone can win, said Reyes. Choosing the option gave them $29 million each after taxes, which turned out to be a pretty good investment. Imagine turning $2 into $29 million. Number 11. Jane Doe this woman filed a legal action to remain anonymous after winning $559.7 million. The New Hampshire native bought a ticket on January 6, 2018, but she accidentally signed the back of the ticket. She did that because she thought it was required by the Lottery Commission in order to pay the prize. In New Hampshire, information like this should be shared to the public, so eventually her identity was revealed. After winning, Jane said, I wanted to remain anonymous and live a normal life, not being targeted as the woman who won half a billion dollars. First thing she did with the money was to pay off debt and give back to her community. Number 10. Marie Holmes and two more winners. A single mom from North Carolina, Marie won one-third of the $564 million jackpot back on February 11, 2015. No names were shared about the other two winners, but we know that one lived in Puerto Rico and the other one is from Texas. Choosing the cash option, they each got a little over $125 million. Number 9. Cindy and Mark Hill and Matthew Good Cindy and Mark Hill from Missouri won half of the $587.5 million jackpot back on November 28, 2012. Instead of purchasing a sports car, Mark Hill bought a new pickup truck to meet with friends at a local coffee shop. Since winning, the couple has given back so much to the community and decided to retire early and sit back to enjoy life. The other winner was Matthew Good from Fountain Hills, Arizona, who was very overwhelmed after finding out he won half of the major jackpot. He bought the ticket for $10 and kept it in the sun visor of his car. Looks like a good hiding place. First thing he did after winning the money was hiring financial advisors to help him manage his money. Number 8. Gloria McKenzie An 84-year-old woman from the town of Zephyr Hills in Florida was walking through the supermarket when she decided to purchase a lottery ticket. Little did she know it would change her life. Gloria won $590.5 million playing Powerball 
on May 18, 2013. Word says that only five years after winning the money, she lost almost everything because of her son's bad investment decisions. A friendly advice for all the viewers watching this, value your money. Number 7. Ira Curry and Steve Tran Ira Curry from Stone Mountain, Georgia, and Steve Tran, a delivery driver from California, split the $648 million jackpot prize back on December 17, 2013. She headed straight to the lottery headquarters after finding out she had won the jackpot, a complete opposite to Steve Tran, who found out a month after it was announced. Curry chose the cash option and won $120 million after federal taxes of 25% and 6% on state taxes. Tran also decided to take the cash option, $173 million before federal taxes. Liking this video so far? If you do, hit that like button and let me know what you think of the first 8 winners. We're about to reveal the $2 billion winners, so keep on watching to find out exactly how much money they actually pocketed. Number 6. Three Amigos Just as their nickname, these three friends held three winning tickets of the $656 million jackpot on March 30th, 2012. Two of the Amigos were women, one in her 20s and the other in her 50s. The other Amigo was a man in his 40s. At that time, they worked in Maryland's public school system. In the end, each got around $150 million. Number 5. Loren West and Robert Bailey West from Iowa and Bailey from New York won $687.8 million on October 27, 2018. Loren, a 51-year-old grandmother, almost lost her ticket because she left it in the back of her sister's pickup truck. Imagine that. Bailey, on the other hand, is a retired government worker. He opted for the lump sum payment which trimmed down his $343.8 million to $125.3 million after taxes. Still a pretty decent amount of money. Number 4. Mavis L. Wamsvik on August 23, 2017, Mavis, the sole winner of the $758.7 million, was just getting off to work when she got shocked by the news that she was now a multi-millionaire. Mavis worked at a hospital in town, Massachusetts. Fun fact, she actually used the birthdays of her family members for the winning numbers. I'm pretty sure a lot of people use this strategy when deciding what numbers to choose, and for Mavis, it paid off really well. Number 3. Manuel Franco Manuel, a 24-year-old guy from Wisconsin, won $768.4 million back on March 27, 2019. He bought the ticket one month before at a speedway on Bellot Road in New Berlin, a suburb of Milwaukee. The jackpot was the third largest in US lottery history. Franco helped one of his family members by paying their college tuition, and I'm pretty sure he has spoiled himself as well. If you think Manuel won it big, wait until you see these top two. Number 2. Anonymous This mystery winner who lives in the state of South Carolina won a whopping $1.5 billion back on October 23, 2018. South Carolina is one of the handful of states that allows lottery winners to remain anonymous, so it's no surprise this lucky winner decided to take that option. It's exciting, good for me, good for him, her or whoever it is, said Chirag Patel, owner of the convenience store. It's a shame he didn't get any of it. The anonymous winner chose the cash option that guaranteed him or her $878 million after taxes. Number 1. Lisa and John Robinson, Marvin and May Acosta, and a trust fund. Three winning tickets split a record lottery ticket of $1,586,000,000 on January 13, 2016. Lisa and John from Florida got their ticket from a supermarket a few days before, while Marvin and May purchased the ticket from a 7-Eleven in Chino Hills, California. 
The third and final ticket was claimed by the Nickel 95 Trust, located in Florida. Each of the winners chose the cash option, which entitled them to $325 million. So, you guys just found out the 15 biggest lottery jackpot winners in the United States. Which of these 15 fascinated you the most? Was it the Three Amigos or the mysterious winner who was actually the largest sole winner in the list? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and smash that notification bell to get updated on my latest content. If you enjoyed watching the 15 biggest lottery winners in the US, you're gonna love my video where I talk about the 10 most expensive mansions of NFL players. So make sure you go and check it out now. Till next time, 